That's right. The feature training of the week. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because Keith has just given high accolades to uh, one of our instructors, John McCants. Well, I can certainly do that as well because I love this guy. He's a superstar in our business. He's just such a great down-to-earth guy. He cares about people. And uh, he's done a lot of deals. He is a practitioner instructor as well as a Renatus leader. He's out there building teams and making great things happen together with his wife, Pam. And John McCants is our featured trainer this evening. John, come on out here and, uh, you know, let's let's get things rolling. Well, Bob, we, we do go back a ways. This is a, you know, I, I thought about it today being asked if we can have a little quick word or two be great. Then I got some stuff to share and some of my guys to bring on. But, you know, I thought about the first time I was on this phone call, how many years ago that was, teaching my first class and how nervous I was. And, and now I look at, at now coming out here several times and where we're at. And, yeah, I'm excited, but my, my nervousness is excitement for what's going on, Bob. It's a whole different uh, side of this thing. It was real estate, now it's real estate and marketing. And Jay Stark, Kristen George, and Bob, you guys just really do put out an incredible, incredible uh, product. And I just love it so much. And what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, I'd like to say something about Keith Cardinal because really at the end of the game, what Keith just did and who and he and Laura are and what they're doing is a testimony to why we're building teams and why this is happening and, and what caught my eye about the marketing side of Renatus. So um, Bob and I, I met him a long time ago. I had his phone number in my phone. Just like with me, I get it. A lot of people say, hey, we, we'll share our phone numbers with you. And we do. You have them. So I got a phone call one time from Bob after having been in the education for a while. And the, the phone call was at a bad time for me because I was at buying a house at an auction in Everett, Washington. And I had on the line a gentleman from Seattle in King County buying a, a house. And so, But I saw the phone call ring and Bob Snyder was calling. I go, what is this all about? So I answered real quickly, but I said, hey, Bob, I'm really too busy buying a house right now. I can't talk to him. We talk later. And I hung up on you, Bob. And, and I know we've told the story before, but it's just, it's funny. And um, the cool part about it was that you saw that I was so active buying houses that you wanted someone like that teaching your classes. And um, I'm honored to be that person. And as I've become an instructor and met some of the other instructors, you've just got a whole list of uh, people coming on. Um, incredible. And so this weekend watching Heather Echeverria, someone that's been around for a long time teaching the fix and flip. I've known her for over 10, 12 years in this group and seeing how she did that and how she's done that with her husband, Ben, uh, they're mentors of mine. And now I'm a mentor of some of you guys. And I just feel like I'm a student of, of the leaders, but I just love it. And so just want to say thank you guys. And um, so Pam now and I, and I now are running uh, teams in several markets in uh, the western side of the United States for the most part, Cardinals if you're in Phoenix, and really enjoying it. And so what happened to me was this, and uh, I got two of my guys that are going to come out and kind of talk to you from Tucson and in the Puget Sound area, is I got involved as real estate from the beginning. I quit my job after going to a, just a basic boot camp type real estate seminar. It was good info, but not many people did stuff with it. I did. Um, and for years and years, I took education, learned, I quit my job, never, ever had to work again, though I worked harder at this and on myself than I ever did in a job because I was working for myself and I was getting the benefits of it. And I'll be honest, a lot of it was, you know, the financial side of it, you know, get, breaking free and being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want, but it really came down to having the time. And, uh, so over the years, I got to a certain level by the learning that I had and the people that I hung around. And then it comes along the Renata system, take that, and I said, where in the heck has something like this been all my life? You know, I had bought single seminars, single training systems, even some coaching programs similar to Woody's. Woody's is great. Love that. And so others, the Rich Dad situation, there's a few people out there that, you know, I thought out. Just like, you know, Tony Robbins, Bob, he's seeking him out and vice versa. Some of the people that are attracted to Renata's. Some of the same people were attracted to as investors or as small business owners. And so as I saw the Renata system, it didn't take me long to say, you know what, this is just different. And this has much more uh, impact to me and what I could do. And that's so why I revamped what I did. I was a foreclosure specialist and um, never really did uh, take it to a point where I had a system down that was at such a level that I could probably walk away from it. And, and um, Renata and King, the other information that I probably was missing, maybe even some of the desire of trying to model some of the things that they were teaching, I did 
the craft system together. I built a team and we took doing foreclosure real estate up to three, maybe even four times as many, four times as many transactions in a given year after doing that, building a team. So it really did multiply the rewards on the end and it also gave me the time. And so it was at that time when Bob called and said, hey, John, we want you to go ahead and uh, consider teaching a class for us. I'm teaching a class. <laughs> but he doesn't know, and we got to know each other a little bit. And when it got down to it, it's like, I do want to help people. I want to help people any way I possibly can. In foreclosures, that happens all the time. In real estate out here, no matter who we are, you know, we've got people door knocking and, and marketing. You're, you're running across people that, you know, are fallen angels, have something that's gone wrong or not gone right. And in real estate, so the same darn thing happens no matter – how you look at it, I wanted to be able to help some people. And so when the <laughs> opportunity came to teach the class, I did. And it was a nerve-wracking experience. And I just tried putting together what you do at your day job in eight hours to try to make sense of it. So I did the best I, I could. And I told my story and really got a lot of people coming back later saying, you know what, I really appreciated your heart and just the way you were serious about teaching this. And just you laid it all out, John. I could tell you would know what you're doing. And so I really appreciate the feedback that I got. And since then, we've updated the class as a testament to Renatus. It's been updated. But it was on those trips as an instructor going out to some of the first cities that I was asked to, because as an instructor, if asked, you, you're, you go out to two or three or maybe even four cities a year and do one of our intensives. And so one of my very first ones, always, you know, Chicago first, right? <laughs> they were there and went to Chicago, and that was, you know, an experience going to New York, Atlanta, Sacramento, Seattle, and, you know, eventually building a market with Chris and Chris and Sandy up in Spokane, breaking our own market. But what kind of got to me, it was the second time back to New York with Hughes Zaretsky. We are back there uh, about a year and a half after the first time. You know, obviously when New York calls, you want to go and train in New York because you can play and have fun in New York and go out and do some things. So we did that. But the thing that got me on the market was, you know what, the same people are in the room with some new guests and some of these same people are getting a whole different level of results than I've ever seen in this many years of being in the business. Even though I've been around Renatus and hung out there for a while as a student, I didn't pay attention much like Keith. He didn't see it right away either. And all of a sudden he said, well, what's this national, what's this leaders? And boom, you know, he went ahead and got involved on the, the student enrollment and expanding, you know, the ripple of people joining this company. And so after seeing that in New York, it just, it was really like, you know what, I got to do it. And then with James Lee's encouragement, you know, he's my PAC member, and Lisa, we came up with a plan. And um, now, today, I'll just jump way far forward because it's just kind of crazy. We have 350 people in four different states and seven different cities. We have now a marketing uh, marketing machine out there that's bringing in money people you know, uh, and students to, to the game. And so I, at this point, have seen what Renatus can do and the results of some of the people that have come along, such as Keith and Laura. We're going to have Mike Jeffrey coming on here in a few minutes up in the Puget Sound area, and then Ray in Tucson. And so both these guys are parts of markets. But what Pam and I have done as we've grown our marketing team and we've got students, we would start going out and following what Scott Rowe, what Michael Huggins do, and some of the others, just use, you know, right, in this company, you can't name everybody, and you can't name enough of them. There's so many great people out there, you know, let alone the Stock Brothers, those guys, they are something. So anyway, we went, uh, would go to our city, Seattle, and then when, when Chris came on up in Spokane, and we would make a commitment to go there and help on a week, monthly or bi- bi-monthly, every so often, whatever it would take. San Diego is another example of that, and we're uh, helping with Kendall and Darren. They've been great at assisting, helping the San Diego area grow, which is about an hour, hour and a half south of where they're at in Riverside, Temecula. Uh, not Riverside, but uh, Marietta. And so we went out there every month. And so at this point, San Diego needs a little love. We were over there last month teaching the real estate intensive with Kendall. And so we're going to start going out every month to San Diego to give San Diego a little bit of shot of energy and to give them – some guidance and some leadership. And so I saw in the email that went out, folks, that we talked about we were talking about leadership here. And I'm just gonna look at what, what you guys all said. You came familiar with the marketing plan and signed up to market the services. And um, one of the things in doing that, very apparent to me that if I was gonna be a leader and gonna do that, 
I had to be proficient at both sides of this company, one being a real estate investor and two going out and duplicating and multiplying that of which I saw with James, uh, Scott Rowe. Scott Rowe is incredible, you know, and Michael Huggins. And so for me, that's what we did was we would just start modeling them. You know, Scott's famous right now or has been for many years, I guess, going to a city for six months in a row and giving them, you know, the Scott Rowe touch and uh, helping them just get their, their, their machine up and rolling. And sometimes he'll do two or three in a week. And so Scotty came through here, you know, Bob and guys, in the last six months with Zach and Zach and Samari Samar are just really absolutely, like you said, the best and committed to really growing this company and doing a lot of real estate and helping people, you know, change lives. And so when Scott came out here, it was just impressive to me to watch it. I've heard him cut all the places he's done and I've showed up at a couple of his places, you know, find out where Scott rode at and go there. Don't just market him, you know, throw him on meetups, go out and meet him personally. But I'm committed now as a result of that of going down to Tucson every week and helping Ray Fleming grow his market. Uh, going to give it the Scott Road touch. You know, it's a little closer. I don't have to get on a plane. I can drive. And so Pam with me has grown as well. And, and it's not something I could really feel I could do on my own as well as I can do in a couple. And so as Pammy's grown as well in her walk with Renatus and investing, we now are leading at this point, you know, leading by example to masterminds. Uh, Pam's starting off and facilitating the Essentials Mastermind in one city, Tucson, and then Pam and I together are really excited um, after having a lot of success in the Fix and Flip group. We've really run that curriculum really hard two times and done great results here in Phoenix. A lot of money raised, a lot of deals done, and students see it and they want to upgrade into that kind of education. And so we are as well now doing a second mastermind each week in Phoenix with Zach and the gang and the leaders on wealth acceleration and what's so cool about it in leading by example is taking the classes myself i'm taking classes in the next curriculum batch that are coming through in uh, the uh, wealth acceleration both pam and i that we haven't taken before and so we're a student of the of the game just as much as we ever have been and so loving that and um outside of that within our business it's really kind of a business from the marketing side that, you know, probably not as fast high speed Ferraris as some of these guys, but it's just slow and steady wins a race too. We do a weekly phone call with our people. We go to some of our cities, uh, when needed, uh, we go more and, uh, we don't forget about it because that's why we're going back to San Diego and making it happen. So at this point, I know maybe I got Bob there, but. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Snyder. And, uh, thank you, Mr. McCants for actually allowing me to come out here and just share just for a few minutes. Uh, John mentioned, well, actually, if you look on the screen there, that's my lovely little family that I have absolutely been blessed to be a part of. Um, we have two beautiful little children, healthy, a daughter and a son. They are two and a half and almost seven now. But uh, what's really cool is this was always a dream of mine to be able to just be able to spend time with my family and take them on adventures and places that I've always wanted to go. Um, actually, those three pictures are all in Mexico. We spend a significant amount of time in Mexico. Jane's, my wife Jane, her family comes from Mexico. And um, this is what Renatus has allowed me to do on the left-hand side there. That's actually uh, down in uh, Puerto Penasco. We, I was manning the foundation there. We are part of a ministry that actually goes down and builds houses for really truly deserving people who are just not blessed with the uh the just the financial aspects just the ability to be born here in america i mean just that are not um receiving everything that we receive just being americans um so it's a way for us to give back and really help other people because i know that what mr uh, bob snyder has taught me is it's not really about what we can do for ourselves but what we can do for others. And that's the reason that we really want to create this wealth. And John, when he found me, uh, when I found Renatus, I was one of those fallen angels that John talks about. I had got, I had two little businesses, a contracting handyman business, a kettle corn business, which I was the lone ranger. I did it all myself. So if I didn't work, I didn't get paid. I had no system. I had no support. I had no team. And so what happened is when I went through, I had a horrible accident right after Christmas of 2015, I needed full knee, knee reconstructive surgery. 
what am I going to do at that point? Uh, can't pay my bills. We have a mortgage. We got a baby. It was a disaster. So that was three and a half years ago, a little over three and a half years ago when I found Renatus and I started Renatus in February of 2016. And I'll tell you, it has not been, you know, the easiest journey, especially starting out low. But I thought to myself, hey, I've wanted to do this forever. And this, uh, I heard Scott Rowe talk about what Renatus was. And it was everything I could even imagine. I didn't even know anything like Renatus even existed. First 18 months was a struggle for sure. It didn't really start taking off until about 18 months later. But uh, I'll tell you, once I've actually really applied what the Renatus education had, um, I met a, my business partner, Joseph Smith, through Renatus. And just to give you a little idea on what we've been able to do with our education, we have now surpassed the $1.2 million mark in self-directed IRA funds. Thank you, Kendall Stock and Darren Davis for that education. Um, we are now working on our 18th real estate transactions. We have five doors paying us rent. We got currently two rehabs running and uh, right now working on a subject to Airbnb type deal that should be up and running by the end of the month. It has been absolutely life changing. It's it's one of these crazy things. Hey, Renata supplies the education. There's no guarantees, but from what I've been able to do is, you know, I guess they say it's not typical, but um, I applied what I learned and I went out and I took massive action. My thing was I wanted to do real estate. And so I did a little bit of marketing, but I didn't really go full boat on it. I got five star fairly quickly, but then I said, oh no, I need credibility. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I, I started to create excuses in my mind. So I went out, made massive returns on the real estate side. And, um, you know, and I was actually at the original last year and I was talking to Scott Rowe and Scott Rowe said, Ray, how much money have you made on real estate? I said, well, um, I'm, I'm truly blessed, Scott. I truly am. And he said, then why are you being so selfish? I was like, oh, Leave it to you, one of the greatest mentors I've ever had, Scott Rowe, to just put it straight as it is. And I said, you know what? You are so right. How have I not done more to share this message? I'm truly being selfish by not sharing this message with so many other people who would do anything to be in the same position that I'm in now. And so oh, just the wealth of knowledge, the instructors, the relationships that I've been able to meet and Thankfully, you know, there was Zach and Sumari with Scott Rowe who really lit the fire. And many of us from Tucson, we traveled up to Phoenix two hours just to see what Scott Rowe and Zach and Sumari had, and the whole Phoenix team had put together. And we all just said, wow, there is true power in this. And um, what we ended up doing was getting the other leaders who were in Tucson together. There's JC Williams and Linda Williams, along with Joseph Smith and Emily Smith. We said, look guys, this is not working. We're fractured. We have, we got to come together because this is bigger than all of us. And so luckily with the power of John McCants and Pamela McCants, they've really come and helped us unify Tucson where a little over four weeks ago, I mean, let's see, like two months ago, I would say there's about 10, to maybe 12 people in attendance. Last week, we hit 52 people in attendance. Um, we're starting mastermind sessions, open, uh, led by Pamela McCants, introductions led by John. We have a velocity banking breakout. It's absolutely amazing what's being created. And I'm just grateful that I've had the opportunity to be part of this, uh, this education, part of this community. And I just look forward to many, many more years of some truly solid growth. So thank you, John, for allowing me to come out today and just share a little bit of my story. Thank you, Ray. Can you hear, hear me still? Yeah, for sure. Well, I want to, if I can be too interactive with you for a second, and it's just awesome to hear you. We have, it's kind of funny. We have a team takeover on the, on the founders call. We'll have to keep this one in our archives because we have the Cardinals on before, and I, you, uh, and I, it's just really cool. But as a testimony to the education, you've done many things, it appears to me. And I, I watched you as you picked up the auction part. And I'm not just talking about it because I taught the class, but no, I taught the class. But no, but I was down there watching you, and I know the difference. What with applying the education in just that one area, because I know you can also do it in business credit and flipping and, and, and you know, daily rentals, but what, how did that link for you 
so easily because you seem to pick up the option thing pretty darn good and pretty quick. Well, John, I mean, it's 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 kind of it's it's a lot better if you have a relationship with the uh, auctions instructor and being able to. You may not feel like I've reached out to you a whole lot in need of certain things, but when I did reach out, it was just critical little points that needed to be connected, and um, combining what you had taught us in the auctions class, we have, and then leveraging the self-directed IRA accounts as as put us into a position that we can go in there and analyze these deals quickly, especially, you know, and kind of taking a lot of pointers from Darren Davis as far as how to actually really get the numbers down really quickly and start hitting it. And then I integrate your strategies of how to actually have conversations and just applying everything that you simply have taught us in the class. That's it's all, it's all it was really. I wish there was, it was more complicated. I mean, it, I'm glad it's not more complicated than that. It's like, hey, I listen to what John said. I listen to what Darren said and analyze the deal, go and talk and figure out what's the situation to solve the problem. And if we can, then we buy it at the block or at the courthouse steps. And uh, we've been able now to just so far not, you know, still make some really nice profits on every single deal that we've we've purchased from the auction, um, even though it's an extremely tight market right now. And it, the properties that do show up, they're getting bid up like crazy. But when you have no money costs as far as like a hard money lender, you can beat out everybody else all day long. And so that's that's truly where a lot of the power has come from. Um, well, does that kind of answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, we're just having a conversation here. The, the nation is listening to us. If you don't mind, Ray, thank you so much. One more. Oh, I have a thought. Oh, isn't that horrible? And it went away. Oh, you guys just, you and Joseph just passed the benchmark. You, you keep mentioning other classes. I love it. And Darren, or Kendall and Darren, took Kendall's class on raising money. Didn't you and, and Joseph just pass the benchmark of what you've raised uh, using that strategy or strategies like that? Yeah, the benchmark, I mean, two point or 1.2 million in self-directed IRA funds. And then as far as like other classes of capital, Megan Christensen's business credit class, that was a true game changer because if you're using self-directed IRA LLCs, you can't, pay, none of our you know partners can be personally liable for the debt. So you can't co-sign or guarantee your self-directed IRA's money. And so how do you get credit? If you have rentals, how do you offset some risk by having credit cards for the rental itself. So we've taken Megan's class and added an additional, um, we're mm -hmm. over 200,000 mm -hmm. in just business lines of credit that required no personal guarantees, nobody social security numbers, and just our partners and our partners, our, our chips. So, I mean, that's a whole other aspect. So I guess we're approaching 1.5 then as far as total access to funds. <laughs> so that Great is stuff. Well, well Ray, yeah, the classes have just shown out and how you played it out and you worked hard and you've taken massive action. I'd like to just speak to you on leadership and then we'll see if Mike's out there. Part of what the call to is leadership, you know, you, and leading by example. You mentioned, you know, until you had a few deals, you didn't, you know, market as hard or didn't come as well. But I've watched you in the last year or two, I've watched you in the last 60 days as we've opened up Tucson and you've taken it, just taken it on. And you were probably at a point where you, you know, 90 days ago weren't prepared for that. So just any thoughts on, on how taking on the leadership role for the com coming together of the Tucson area it feels for you or just any last words and then we'll move on. Well, it is, it is one of those things. It is, it is a, uh, it's a task, but it's also my, my duty. I feel it's, it's, it's an opportunity that I have had the dream of pers pursuing, um, since I started this, this was one of my original dreams and, and passions and goals to be able to create some type of team and community that was all wrapped around this amazing machine that Bob has created. And so I just truly feel that I have to give it everything I got. I'm working literally an extra job just to make it happen. I'm, I'm somewhat a little bit stressed out. I, I don't get much sleep, but it's one of those things that I will gladly work 150 hours a week building my own dreams than 20 hours doing somebody else's. That's uh, 
That's what it is. It's, I don't feel like I'm working. I'm still at the office. I started early this morning. I probably won't leave till one in the morning, but I'm here. I'm willing. I'm ready to grind and make it happen. So thank you, Bob, and thank you, John. <laughs> Ray, un- unreal. Thank you. What a great way to end it. And I just want to let you know, you know, we got your back, but we're not, not ours. You know, of all the training in the world is out there for us and our group, but we're coming after leadership coming up here this week. Everybody's heading to Panama, but guess what? Regional season's coming right around, and we got it Scottsdale starting here on the 27th and 28th race. So we need to get everybody in Phoenix and Scottsdale to kick off. Which regionals we're all going to is kind of a motto I've been hearing. Which regionals you're going to, guys? So that training's there. So Ray will get a bunch of people up there. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. Let me see if I got um, Mike Jeffrey on the phone. See if he's there. Can you hear me this time? Mr. Mike, yes, we can hear you this time. Can you hear me? Okay, I switched, I switched over to my phone, but I kind of sound like a chipmunk to myself right now. So hopefully you hear me better than I can hear you. You can hear pretty can you hear me okay? around too much. I can hear you. Okay. You just don't move too much. So uh, you want to just go ahead and just say a little bit about yourself and what you're doing, what you did before Renata and, and what you're doing now as, uh, as a result. That'd be great. You, you bet. Uh, well, I uh, started out, uh, uh, you kind of mentioned a little bit earlier on about, uh, you know, being able to help people uh, with within Monotis and what you're doing right now. And I spent uh, uh, over 32 years as a career firefighter uh, uh, and a junior officer being able to help people. And got promoted to deputy chief before I retired and was able to help people within the department and outside the department with a, a different uh level so uh, you know working with Renatus and uh you know what uh you can do as far as the education and um you know being able to you know take control of your own destiny um sharing that with other people is just kind of an extension of uh, uh what i was able to do as a firefighter and being able to help people and i think that that's um, really important um i met my business partner craig colson at the fire department he was in it and uh, we were both getting close to the point where we were going to be retiring, and we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do. And we decided that we were going to be flipping houses. And this was before Renatus. Um, so we met you, John. Uh, and um, uh, Craig was uh, learning how to do the auctions through you. And you introduced us to <laughs> Renatus, and we looked at the education and uh, thought, well, this is uh, this is really good stuff. You know, it's. Uh, we like the way it was taught. We like the instructors, and we got some really qualified instructors that are, you know, practicing what they're doing. Um, you know, they've done really well at what they're doing. They're approachable. Uh, you know, we get to have intensives from time to time where we can talk to the instructors personally and ask them personal and, uh, questions that we've got uh, specific to what we're doing. And uh, that part um, has been absolutely great. Uh, Craig and I have been fixing up houses since the latter part of uh, 2012 and uh, looking to expand that, uh, uh, what we've been doing with that. In fact, we just closed on a house here um, last week, got another house that hopefully will close on the middle of this month. And uh, we are also um, facilitating uh, a centrals group up in Bellevue, uh, Washington. And uh, we both wanted to do that because being able to facilitate, number one, uh, provides an opportunity for us to really dig in in materials, and I've gotten a lot more out of it by having to uh, pay a lot more attention to it and prepare for the classes. And then the other thing is it gives us an opportunity to really uh, get to know people uh, on a little bit more intimate basis than we would be uh, if we weren't uh, uh, participating in that group. Uh, the other thing is, since I live down in Tacoma, and it's a long ways up to Bellevue, we've got a group down here that we've been trying to um, uh, get going down here. It's a smaller group, uh, but uh, and we don't have really a place to go at this point in time. We're looking for someplace permanent. We're moving from library to library right now, but uh, uh, there's a lot of people down in the Tacoma area, a lot of people down in uh, Olympia area that are certainly probably not going to want to be going up to the Bellevue uh, area all the time. So I'm really looking to uh, participate in the group here in a bigger way. In fact, I'm uh, looking at uh, uh, kind of introducing velocity banking just on a uh, you know small basis so they kind of get some kind of an idea of what the uh, Renatus education um, has to offer. 
Uh, again, I've been really impressed with the um, education that Bob has put together, the way it's put together, the fact that you can look at it anytime you want, day or night. Um, uh, I've, uh, I've gotten so much from the materials, and uh, we haven't been marketing as much as a lot of the other people on the call. Um, that's one of the things that I'm really looking forward to, gearing up, doing a lot more in that direction so that uh, um, I can uh, help people in their 20s and 30s and get involved in taking care of themselves and taking control of their own destiny, uh, things that uh, – I wasn't able to do when I was younger because there weren't a lot of vehicles out there. You didn't have the, the IRAs, the 401ks, the Roths, um, and certainly education like uh, uh, we get from Black and Legal Day 1 and 2. Um, again, very, very excellent uh, education material for people that are just beginning and trying to learn about uh, real estate and uh, get their finances together, increase their cash flow so that they can uh, – uh, do the real estate and uh, just in general lead a better life, take control of their own destiny. And at some point in time, if they don't want to work, uh, they don't have to work and build a cadre of people that can go out and spread the word to other people. Mike, that's so super well said. You can hear me, right? I can. Sure. Like Ray, I wanted to ask you a question as well. It's, it's really just been fun tonight. Hopefully Bob and the guys are happy with me. Just having an open conversation with y'all. Everybody is politically correct, I think, so far. Um, Mike, we've heard from others, you know, the Cardinals. Uh, we've heard from Ray, and uh, we've heard from you. And, and we've talked leadership tonight. And uh, you're uh, a testimony of showing up to me. You, you've been at the, the, the regionals, I know you've been at nationals at least twice. You've only been around for a couple of years. So three you've times. Every one of them. Three times to yeah. nationals. No, we're losing cash. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to keep me honest here. <laughs> but you, you work with Mark and Carlos Eisner up there in the Seattle market. You've been a big part of their team. You've driven for hours. Just talk a little bit about, just from a leadership standpoint, and then you know, we'll just kind of close out here in a few minutes, showing up and just what you see and, and how that feels to, to, to be someone to have that leader servant heart like some of the others on the call. Well, again, just being involved in a higher level, um, you know, giving back for one thing, um, you know, going up to, um, you know, Bellevue and, and being able to participate in the group and benefit from the group. Uh, it, it was important to both Craig and myself to um, take on a leadership role and uh, try to help, uh, you know, run the organization because it takes people, volunteers to do that. And, uh, you know, just uh, being able to be a part of that, uh, it helps us grow within the organization. It helps the people that we uh, facilitate and network with grow in the organization as well. And it's just been a really good um, um, experience. Uh, you know, you, you meet people from all walks of life that are, you know, doing different things, you know, contractors, uh, real estate agents, uh, uh, people that uh, are involved in escrow and, um, you know, being able to help direct them as far as the, the marketing side of it and um, you know, to help them get started and help them, uh, you know, work with other people so that they can grow within the, uh, the organization. And again, just to uh, be able to um, be, be able to take control of their own destiny, unlike um, a lot of people that just are kind of lost, don't know what direction to take, uh, don't have the motivation. And that was one of the things that really impressed me about being involved in Renatus is you've got a group of people that are interested in trying to learn as much as they can, help themselves out as much as they can, and then share that information with other people. And being a part of leadership and um, having a, a, a hand in some of the direction with the group up in Seattle, um, I think it's really important. And then again, being able to uh, develop a, a larger group down here in the Tacoma area and then being able to, you know, merge our groups together at some point in time. And then when we have intensives, uh, we can help support the group up there by, uh, you know, having more people to uh, attend the different intensives that, that we've got. Uh, for me, it's been great. Uh, I, I would like to do more. I need to do more. And uh, at this point in time, I've been doing a lot of studying of the classes and trying to get up on top of, um, of the materials, internalize them. But it, I'm to the point now that I want to start more putting it into action and 
getting out and you're getting the word out to people and bringing more people into the organization. Help grow it. Well, Mike, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and just who you are. And I know I've had a handful of people I could eat easily come up to maybe three or four handfuls of people and you just stood out because you show up and I just enjoy it and just so you know Pam and I have picked the uh, Seattle Regionals to end the season and come up there and see you guys so we will be up there at that Regionals with you uh, again looks like you're going to Nashville we're going up there for a Regional so Mike have a great night I'll have a couple more words and just kick it back to Bob thank you man appreciate you it you too and we look forward to seeing you up here likewise so so at the end of the call from a leadership standpoint from a real estate investor standpoint and just building teams you know, I'm just blown away by the, 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 I don't know if that's a great term to use or not. I'm just amazed and about the opportunity that we have and what people do with it and love to be a part of it. And so as the guys and everybody goes off to leadership from Panama to have fun, uh, we'll have some fun. Well, we got the same thing happening in regional time coming up here this September. And uh, looking forward to seeing people in San Diego here next week and Phoenix and Tucson got three epics to do in one week. Never done that before. So as a leader of this group, I, I listen to others doing the same darn thing. You got to go out and just keep doing it. And so I'm um, keeping as busy as I can, as much action as I possibly can. And I get it from you guys, Scott, Bob, Tierney, Richard, Stock, you, James, there's so many of you. And Bob, obviously we get it from you and the home team. You guys uh, really laid a great table for us. So I'll kick it back to you, Mr. Snyder. And, uh, John, thank you very much, my friend. Man, I really appreciate everybody that you invited on the call tonight. It's just wonderful to hear from folks that are out there making it happen. You know, they're enjoying what we call the Renatus Well Cycle. And that is you make your money marketing the education, and then you apply the education with the money you've made for marketing to your real estate business, and you accelerate the pace to greatness. And you just uh, brought on a few folks who really emulate that. So I appreciate it, John. It's, uh, it's been a great Founders webinar. We've got so many awesome things to look forward to. I'm here to tell you that uh, it will be just, well, heavens, in about 48 hours, I'll be in Panama. I guess the big question is, you know, to the rest of the group out there, will you? I'll look forward to seeing you in Panama. If for some reason you're not coming with us, then I'll look forward to seeing you at one of the upcoming regional trainings that are right behind it. Thanks, John. Thanks to your team. Good night. God bless, everybody.